It is The Riot. This is our podcast. Uh, Welcome. In, in the podcast, we talk about yogurt hoarding. That might, <laughs> Is that your favorite? Maybe. Like, just as I think across the day. Not and, the heroin guy? The heroin guy. <laughs> did he make it into this podcast? He did. He did. <laughs> I mean, I, I think we could agree the heroin guy's just sad. At least the yogurt hoarder is a little funny, and I can kind of. It's not I, too bad to where it becomes like you can't laugh at it. If I apply myself, I can understand the yogurt sure. hoarder. If I apply myself. Sure. Uh, but the the heroin guy, no. Nope. Can't get it. You'll know both when we get to them. You will. You will. <laughs> uh, other things we talk about today is therapy, Batwoman, dead cells, a lot of time on Starbucks. We did spend some time on that. We did. If anyone can help, <laughs> if you, let me know. I still know someone in desperate need. <laughs> Again, you'll understand more when you get to it in the podcast. Also, uh, machetes and Disney. Machetes and okay. a, a weight loss motivation. We talk about the Disney thing. Uh, I finally figured out what it is. I, I wish I could tack this onto the end of the podcast, which with some effort I could, but... That would require work. Instead, you're going to get it tacked on before you get to it. Disney talking about all these movies they're going to release. Yeah. It's like a server coming to your table when you've had a huge meal, and they're like, who's ready for dessert? Plan ahead. And you're like, uh... I'm stuffed right now. I I don't want any more food. But to them, they don't think you're stuffed. They no. think you want to know what's for dessert because you enjoy dinner so much. You mm. want to make sure that there is something else coming. No, I don't. I don't want anything <laughs> else right now. I'm not saying when the time comes, I won't be ready to eat again. But now you're not. But right now, the idea of eating again is absurd. Aww. I couldn't possibly. Well, hopefully enjoy the podcast. Don't forget, you can always connect with us and say hello. Text us at 877 radio U. Put that you're a podcast listener in your name. We get those texts throughout the entire day, so we might not actually be in the studio. So if you don't get a response back, we still get it when we get in the next time. Mm-hmm. And you can also email us right at RadioU.com anytime you'd like us to say hello back so we look forward to hearing from you and you guys have a wonderful whatever this is okay bye Bye. worst of the riot not enough not enough check the blog and all things riot at riot.radiou.com there is a trend online that i think that I, we just should all be aware of, and yet I've been sucked in just a little bit. And that is people taking posts on Reddit and writing news articles about the Reddit posts. Yeah. You don't know if they're real? Well, of course they're probably going to not be real. <laughs> I think I actually lean that way. I agree That's with you. That's the fun part of Reddit. <laughs> it's a mystery. But here is this great article about a Reddit post, which again, an article about a Reddit post. Reddit is not news. Reddit is probably fake. And I feel like these news articles are the things between them and Eric, who suddenly got into Reddit and got me reading all this crap on Reddit. <laughs> but it's fun to read them. It actually is weirdly fun. It's really fun. good. Um, Sometimes but, I prefer it, and we should all prefer it to real news anyways. At least you know it's fake. Okay. Real news is <laughs> pretending to be your friend, but Pretty it's much, not real. It's not, it's not real at all. Okay. So according to this, there's a woman who was, uh, you know, living with her boyf- boyfriend, who she says grew up in a rural environment that had lots of space for his collections. He became a collector. So he collected action figures and video games, but apparently over time he got a little more eccentric. And so she says in their relationship, he began to collect yogurt containers. Oh, so it moved into that. It still had yogurt in them. No, really? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that stink? Well, it was... It was sealed. Oh, I got you. So, so they weren't open. I thought you meant like, you know, he ate them and then just never threw them away. She said that he would keep buying yogurt and buying refrigerators to keep the <gasps> yogurt in. That is weird. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's use the, that's odd. And then he became, <laughs> this is where it gets really weird. He became obsessed with getting his hands on hard to find yogurts, like from Cuba and Iran. Wow. I just never does heard about feel, anyone. Like, did, no, that, that could real? be real. Absolutely. That, real? that could be real. I believe that. You believe? I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe. I watch the Hoarders show. I know what happens. I, you see the pattern. It starts with something and then something went bad and then he just moves on to something more drastic.
Mm-hmm. So she says that uh, she wants to know if she should break up with him because their apartment is full of fridges that are full of weird yogurts. Well, hate to just jump in and say yes, but <laughs> I think he needs help first. Maybe you usher in that help and then you excuse yourself while that works out. I feel like I need more context. Like, I need to meet this guy. Like, if he can, one, acknowledge how weird it is, and two, at the same time, like, Wax philosophical about various kinds of yogurt. No, there's no way to there's no way to talk that one. Okay. Okay, but what I'm telling you is, is this guy is really one step away from a museum curator. We just got to get him interested in something that is socially acceptable to hang on to. Like this is the cloth that they dabbed in Abraham Lincoln's blood. That's super weird, he's, and yet you can go to museums where that's no. on display. See, he's not collecting small items, though, like one-off items. He's collecting a thing and many of them. Iranian yogurt is like, that's weird. So, yes, yeah, it's just different. So, like, he, The yogurt museum. <laughs> is there such a thing? But there, because he's In not, this guy's uh, apartment, there is? Because he's not opening them, I don't know. Like, that's a mess. <laughs> that's just a mess. I feel like because he's not opening them, I'm, I find that more acceptable than eating them, cleaning them out, and putting them on a shelf. I think it's all on the same level. Okay. <laughs> so, is this real or not? We do not know. But. I think he's just mad because she wants some yogurt. Well, I mean, that is wasteful. <laughs> just truly wasteful. We, I you think could still eat it and then save the packaging. The final test is to eat this yogurt from Iran and then see what he does when he comes in. <laughs> Like, if you're just sitting there eating it and he freaks out, yeah. it's time to go. If he wants to know if it's any good, you're probably and then okay. washes it out and keeps it. Oh, okay. All right. Well, there are levels. That's a lot to handle, I think, as a, a partner uh, to just be okay with. The riot. They hate me. They hate you. They hate us. Why else would they make us listen to the worst of the riot? Radio U. I mean, we've talked about it on the show, but depression's a thing for me. I, it's my favorite. I love it. It's just a real opera. I don't think so. I don't think that's it's true. Not, it's not. It really sucks. Is that how we cope? Uh, yes, by laughing. Yes, by laughing at uh, it. But you know what? Laughing is not It's not wrong to cope with laughter. In fact, I, laughing has been probably one of the greatest gifts I feel like God has ever given me is the ability to laugh at myself and at circumstances because, I mean... You know, the other option, it, it helps. That's it all helps, I can tell sure. you. It just helps. Um, so last year, I started going to therapy, which uh, is something that I still do from time to time. I'm not on a weekly anymore, but, you know, I still go and chat. And I, I'll tell you what, I thought therapy sounded like roughly the biggest waste of time we could possibly do. Like The biggest, most expensive waste of time. <laughs> like, hey, I know, I'll uh, pay this person to pretend they care about me and listen to my problems. Great. And what are my problems? The fact that I have all this running water and plenty of food and like, see what I mean? Like you can talk yourself out of it. So I went anyway. um, And, you know, sometimes still go anyway. But here was the thing that was probably the single greatest thing that I got of therapy was that you talk to somebody and you get an outsider's perspective on your thoughts. Mm. And the reality of it is a lot of times in your life, you've drawn poor conclusions about things. Um, so if you've been abused or you've been in abusive situations or difficult situations, you come out of those circumstances and the conclusions that you draw aren't good. And then you apply those conclusions to other places. So a lot of times for me, it's a matter of I will look at a circumstance and just assume it's my fault and it's my responsibility to fix it. And obviously things didn't go well because of something I did. Like I'll, I'll blame my, no matter what. And it could be something ridiculous like the popcorn is burned. Well, you know what? It's my fault that I wasn't nice enough to the man at the counter who made the popcorn and then... I should go back and apologize. But if you talk to someone else about it, right, and he's a different view on it, they give you an outside perspective. Um, I'm telling you all of this. This is two minutes of Obadiah's mental health minute. But hey, it's Mental Health Awareness Month, so it's not a waste of time. Let's talk about it. Um, One of the great things about God has been that God a lot of times will give me an outside perspective. I'll spend some time talking to God. Some people call that prayer, and God will just be like, "Oh no, no, no." Uh, not this, this, or yep, yep, you got it. That's right. This time, this is this is it. And I want you to know that whether you can afford to go to therapy or not, whether you can afford to whatever or not, God is free and he loves you and God will meet you anywhere you are. When I wanted to go to therapy, I had to wait five weeks to get an appointment. <laughs> five weeks. All right. But you know what? God is right. 
Hey, that's real talk, I know right? It's real talk. <laughs> okay. I know. So God is right there with you right now, where you're at, right now. And if you need somebody to talk to, you can talk to him. He loves you. He doesn't want to blame you for things you don't need blame for. He doesn't want to pile more on top of you. He wants to help you. Just say, Jesus, I need that. I want you in my life. I want you to fill me with your spirit. Uh, I could really use a a counselor, a friend, and I got to talk to you about this. And you know what? Talk to God about the tiniest things and the biggest things. Let him talk to you about what's going on, because that's been one of these great things that God does for me is he just, I get real with him and he gets real with me about what's going on in life. I know, I know you hate the riot. Why are they on the radio? Stupid. Yeah. Honestly, we can't trust them with anything else. It's the riot on radio. You nothing says happy Wednesday, like a can of liquid death, you know? Pass it on over here. But liquid death is only scary in packaging, not in its actual form. Liquid death is water. Because it murders your thirst. <laughs> uh, this is... <laughs> <laughs> That's a great... Uh, I got I to gotta tell you, like, it's a great marketing scheme. It is. So one of the uh, creative directors who used to be with Netflix, uh, it's just an article talking about he got funding for something that he's creating, which is called Liquid Death, which is basically a very fancy water, like a can. It looks like a beer can. Mm-hmm. And they'll be sold for $1.83. And he got $2.25 million in funding that he's raised, including people from Twitter and Dollar Shave Club who are investing in this new sort of can for water that looks kind of like an energy drink slash beer can. So he says that uh, he was he's tapping into his background playing in punk bands and straight edge. uh, The water was initially designed to appeal to straight edge punks who are sober. Mm hmm. So, okay, but you're paying a dollar eighty three for this can. Yeah. You're well, you're ba- you're paying for the image of it, but it's just water inside. Okay, well here you go. One hundred percent natural mountain water, which I mean, that's just made up. That could be anything. <laughs> You don't think it's mountain water? Okay, natural mountain water Uh, means that is a statement that means nothing. Nothing. It means nothing. Okay, but they're from the Alps. From the Alps also means nothing. (laughs) I want you to know that the Alps there are more than one Alp. Okay, (laughs) like there is not supposed to peel back that onion. It's naturally alkaline. Okay, now that's a thing, and it's got electrolytes and minerals. So that's what people pay pay. big bucks for alkaline water. The cans contain twenty times more recycled material than plastic bottles, and and, I assume they can be recycled. And it looks like a beer can. All right, best enjoyed when finger numbing cold. That's what it says here. So I'm not like it's fine. Like if that's what you, I think it looks, it looks, the packaging is very clever and it looks very cool. I'm just amazed to be able to raise so much, uh, from investors. It's just so much money. Where can, (laughs) do we know yet where we can buy it? Um, I don't even know if it's technically like out in the market at this point. No, they're just raising money for it. Oh, let's see. It just says that it sells for a dollar 83 a can. I don't know. Water sustainably sourced in the Alps isn't available in stores. It's only available online where it is sold in 12 packs of tall boy cans. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the company plans to donate five cents from every can sold to help uh, the oceans. So that's it. Help them what? It will help them with uh, clean up plastics from the oceans. Again, see that? Is that what they said? Yes, that's what they said. Okay. Because, I mean, again, <laughs> it's real vague. <laughs> think it's meant to be i've got a can for legal of mountain reasons. water from the alps <laughs> that i'm selling you and five cents of your can goes to help the ocean yes from who's, plastics who's the ocean he's my brother-in-law that's <laughs> what we're we, helping that's him. what we call him we're getting the him a ocean. new house <laughs> that feeling when you hear that every school in the state is closed but yours now you know how we feel it's the worst of the riot on radio you well we're doing it again we're finally getting, officially, another Batman show without Batman. So, okay, wait. Uh, we Is Gotham still a thing, or is that canceled? It, it ended. It ended. You didn't, it wasn't canceled. <laughs> the story <laughs> Ran reached its course. completion. It, was fun. it lasted way longer than I feel like maybe it should I, have. <laughs> well, I, as someone who didn't watch it after the first season, maybe it. I had so many people tell me, oh, it's so good, it's it so good. It got better or something? 
I just couldn't. There was just something about it where I was like, you know what? I'm just done here. Well, that Gotham, though, it didn't have Batman in it. It was the commissioner guy, like, when he was younger. He or? was the main guy, but, you know, Bruce Wayne eventually, like, Bruce Wayne was in it, one, and two, eventually, I guess at the end of Gotham, we got Batman for five minutes. Woo! So is this another, uh, it's not animated or anything, is it? Or? No, this is Batwoman. Oh, yes, okay. So, you know, can't have Batman, but we can see. And it's like... This irritates me, but it's like full-blown Batwoman. Like, she's got the costume and the gadgets and the whole nine yards. And I'm just like, look, if we can afford a Batwoman TV show, we can afford a Batman TV show. You could have both. And listen, this ain't some gender thing. I'm not trying to whatever. I'm just telling you, I love Batman. Bruce freaking Wayne. And you've been wanting a Batman show, just him, for quite some time. Just give me a Batman show. Mm -hmm. It's not going to kill you? Not Batman in high school. No. <laughs> not Batman this, Batman like that. Riverdale, but Batman. <laughs> nope. It's not that. Just want Batman. I'm just telling you, if they could do a, and you know what? I don't know. Do it on your stupid service or whatever. Do like. Hey, look uh, at that. Did you did see what that real? is? That's honest. a little negative. Well, because my thought is this. If you can do Arrow, you can do Batman. If you can do Daredevil on Netflix, which was fantastic, boom. Yeah, but you I bet you Batman, do they don't Batman. want you to do that. I know. They want to keep it for the movies. Yeah, and they've been doing a bang-up job with Batman in the movies All these right, days. well, you're full of something with that, all that. Just a let little, it go. Nikki, a little honesty between friends. <laughs> Just to see okay? intense. A little honesty between friends. So where is this going? Is it going to CW? It's going to CW. Uh, so the... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Batwoman TV show will be another DC universe like tie in. So it happens in the quote unquote Arrowverse, which is also where Flash happens. And Arrowverse, you said? That's what they call it. Gotcha. I mean, that's what I'm calling it, I guess. You know, whatever. They're also getting a Nancy Drew TV show. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. And a Riverdale spinoff called Katie Keene. So, which isn't Batwoman's name Catherine Keene? Is that right? You wouldn't know. I'm sorry. What if, I mean, like, I didn't know if you were asking the room for, and you guys were all listening to and you count to. Like, I don't know. You know what? It, I thought you were just you know, putting it out to the universe. Just putting like, it out there. Is, is that it? And is just hoping it? someone would answer you back. I'm sure somebody somewhere was like, no, it's something else. But her last name is Ken. No, it's Kane. That's right. Something Kane. It doesn't matter. You know what? None of this matters. It's fine. My bad. Nancy Drew. No. Come on. Like, Nancy Drew's going to suddenly, it's going to get dark and weird. I don't think that's what Nancy Drew is. I'm a Nancy Drew purist. I read the books. <laughs> kind of like what with Netflix and how they took uh, Sabrina and stuff even more. <laughs> I can't even watch. I can't even look at the pictures of that. All right. So it's that's terrifying. It. Is that the update on CW shows, Batwoman? Ah, Batwoman is Katie Kane. Katie Thank, Kane. Thanks, Jared. Thanks for texting in. Appreciate that. <laughs> No, that's all I got. So they just announced those. Uh, they said on uh, there was going to be a Jane the Virgin spinoff, and they said no to that. Uh, and then there was a, another show called Glamorous that got a pilot. They said no to that. And apparently uh, the guy that made iZombie is looking to reboot The Lost Boys, which was a movie in the 80s or 90s, I don't know. And they say that... Eh, we're going to repilot it. So they're going to make another pilot for that because the first one didn't quite get there. So they, they want to try again. Yeah. So a second pilot, you don't hear about that too often in TV. You know, Nikki, Star Trek got a second oh, pilot did it? in oh. the 60s. <laughs> what a group to be in. The Riot. Apparently some of the less athletic types go nuts for this stuff. Radio U. Listen, if you're not at riot.radiou.com every second of every day, I don't even know what you're doing. Why are you are are you listening? Are what's you listening the, to the show? What's the point in the internet? <laughs> uh, what you will find there is uh, a couple of brand new food fights. Yesterday, Nikki and I, with no delay, <laughs> opened the box and immediately had a riot food fight. Oh my gosh, we had s'mores Oreos and Pop Tarts. Blitz. Yes, which you can watch if you missed it yesterday. You can check out Radio U Riot, our Facebook page. You can watch the video there and watch it on our food fight through Radio U Riot, our YouTube channel. Uh, also on our YouTube channel, you'll find an Obadiah Plays. You might have to go back a little bit to find this one for a, a game called Dead Cells. And Nikki, Dead Cells was a delightful 
2D platformer, roguelike, mm -hmm. with really bizarre but very cool looking graphics. Uh, that I, you know what, I had a lot of fun with it. I didn't play it past. Uh, I mean, I don't know how many hours I played it, but basically I played it for a week. It looked I I, really good. I streamed it once or twice, and they just announced that it's coming to Android and iOS. Oh, so it'll be a mobile game. It will be. Now, it's going to come to iOS first, of course. Wow, you guys have too many different Android phones. It's hard for a company to do a wide release with Android first. So, And then it's coming to uh, Android, but they say that it will have it will be carefully redesigned for iPhone and iPad with a revamped interface it'll have two game modes available original and auto hit now the reason you have auto hit is because controlling on a tablet or phone can be hard so this way it would auto attack for you as uh, you're playing it takes some of the fun out of it, it it's like all the mario stuff uh but it will have controller support uh and they say that if if you want to like you like plug in a controller and it will be just like playing it on a console where you or do have control the over or the what, action yep, stuff, all gotcha. that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only going to be well. Okay, this is a. It's going to be ten euros. I don't know what that will be. Um, I think they just said nine ninety nine American. Okay, I think it's that. And they say no ads, no free to play, just, just ten bucks. Once. Once and done. That's appreciated. Uh, it, you know, it really is. That's refreshing. It is. <laughs> uh, you know, one of the things that I look at is that right now, I mean, maybe you guys do things differently, but I'm not carrying around a controller for my phone, but I think in some ways that might be where we're headed. Like, you can't really, I, I mean, you can, but like when you're really serious about playing a game, at least for me, I don't want to play it on my phone uh, unless it's a phone game. Uh, but in the case of Dead Cells, you know, if you got a long commute or whatever, like you throw your controller in your bag along with your phone and you just play on your phone. I know, but eventually it's like, how big is the bag going to get? <laughs> well, you carry a messenger bag, so it's okay. Yeah, what somebody the other day said, like, what do you need such a big bag for? And I'm like, hey. You never what? know. He's prepared over there. I, He's got I, all the stuff. You wouldn't believe the stuff I have in this so bag. I'm surprised you don't already carry a controller in there. Sometimes I do. Sometimes don't be ashamed of there it. Is, there isn't one in there right now, but I can tell you during the entire fundraiser, for yeah, example, there is one. <laughs> there was a PlayStation uh, DualShock in there for use with my Mac and or Android device, <laughs> and he felt no shame, no problem whatsoever. So no date yet on Dead Cells, but it's pretty cool that it'll it's be coming. soon. And only ten bucks. I'm not so much mad about what they say. I'm mad that they think any of us want to hear it. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Nikki, I don't even understand how you're here right now. What do you mean? Well, I mean, there's new Starbucks cups out there. And... Oh, there are. I haven't bought a Starbucks cup in forever. You haven't seen them? No, let me see. Uh, they. Oh, you know what? They might only... In... No, no, no. It, it's in the U.S. and... Canada. I had, you have like a Tumblr collection, you know, for like it's, coffee and stuff on the weekends. It's not Tumblrs. Oh, the coffee mugs. It's the big coffee ones. coffee mugs. And I, I love coffee mugs. I had a more Tumblr problem mm -hmm. where I had a lot and then I was like, oh no, I could re... I said to myself, I could just give these to other people and have just a, a few good couple of ones. Yeah. And then my few good couple of ones broke <laughs> right after I'd given away all the other ones. And oh, so, so I'm in the market. you had to buy a bunch of new ones? No, I'm in the market for a couple of new ones. Is it the color changing ones or what is it? Uh, it is. It is these color changing. Are they disposable? I think they're, they're reusable, reusable yeah. cups in stores. If you add ice or cold liquid, the cup changes colors i might want one and apparently at least according to this they're selling out all over the place no oh, well that's just what they say too so well i'm just telling you nikki that you probably go need now. to mm -hmm. right now right now go run down there and see if you can get yourself a color changing starbucks disposable cup so, reusable cup. yeah basically it looks like for you know they're they're calling it like the summer season so for the iced drinks and the cold brew stuff um they color change with it mm -hmm. so what do you, ooh, how much does they sell in packs of five? The 24 ounce reusable cups will be $16.95 for a pack of all five colors, which includes rose, citron, sky, apricot, and arctic. Can it look? Can't even just call it the colors that it is, can you? Yellow, red, <laughs> orange, blue, green. No, that's not what it is. It's rose, citron, sky, apricot, and arctic. Shut up. <laughs> So you can Shut get all up. of them. So. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, okay. See? 
<laughs> you're, you're getting them. Go ahead and face it. You're getting them. And you may end up to having to pay top dollar for them on eBay. No, I don't want them to be a problem to get them. I'll tell you what's happening right now. I'm going like, to call Eric and see if he can get them once he gets that's them. Exactly, gets them that is exactly that is exactly what I was going to say. I'm stuck in here. As it's, soon as this, I need help, as soon as we start playing Waverly, no. Nikki is making a text or phone call to Eric immediately. Eric, what are you doing right now? <laughs> I just need help. I I can't leave this room, and I'm missing out. I feel like they're selling out everywhere, and I'm not going to get one. Mm, right? Do you, I feel the pressure? Or by one, it's I building. mean all five of the colors. And you know, the sad thing is. By us mentioning them, we should have held this. Oh, until you I have got them. Um, Eric, you're right. Made sure you were able to get them, and then we could have told everybody about well, them. If you guys are about ready to experience what we call a 15 minute stretch of music, I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't you worry about it. I can go over to the one one street over, and I can make it back in time. I think it's an extra long you These stretch. Are like there is so much good music today on the riot. You're like, because I'm, I just want to go and get those. Do you? If you want me to, like, I'll just hop in our radio UV. Vehicle, and I'll just we'll just do a live we'll phone call going. back, we'll and I'll just <laughs> report on the situation at Starbucks right now. Because I well, that or I could call ahead of time and ask if they have them. That'd probably what? be more practical. What are you a monster? <laughs> I just don't want to be disappointed when I get there. Did you know the riot can help you see into the future? Every time Obadiah says he likes a show, impress all your friends by correctly predicting it will be canceled by the end of the year. Canceled. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's not funny. Works every time. It's the riot on Radio U. Nikki, you're an inspiration to us all. I am? Why? She's eating Pop-Tarts. Oh, and you had if, to tell everybody. If you want to see Nikki eat Pop-Tarts, you can go to riot.radiou.com. Because why is that a thing? Because watching <laughs> Nikki eat Pop-Tarts is the best way to start your morning. Is it? Well, at least if you want to see us eating the new items, which are the splits ones we tried yesterday and the s'mores Oreos, which is mm. up through Radio U Riot on Facebook and YouTube. Those were good. Now I'll take a sip of my water out of this boring red solo cup and not the rechangeable cups or the, the color changing ones that I thought I could have. Man, Nikki, I've got I got bad news for you. Like these have been hot for a few days the and Starbucks we're just ones? now finding I know, out. They're gonna be gone. They're Here's, gonna be gone. We just got this from Nick. He says, FYI, on Monday, the lady in front of me asked the Starbucks drive through person about the cups, to which they responded. I don't think we have any of those in the whole city of Columbus. Great. <laughs> would you call? <laughs> would you call for me? You want me to call? Well, I don't want to call. Do, why not? I don't want to be that person. I don't want to call. So you want me to be that I person? I want you to be that person. Uh, you know, you sometimes know in a team effort, some people have like strengths and weaknesses, and then you balance out with the other person. Right. You know what, Nikki? If I call, they'll start screaming at me. If you call, they'll be like... <gasps> You know what? Well, good. <laughs> I've been holding one in the back for a special no, person. No, that's not how it is. That gets my hopes up, and that's not it. And it's it's funny, but like I knew that when I heard them, <laughs> I would know it was them, and I know it's you. No, I just wanted to know if it, if anybody else will call. <laughs> just anybody I, else? I think you just need to send Eric out to go look at him. Eric All on right. his way. Okay, so just as a heads up, too, I know you guys do a great job. Anytime there's new, like, bear news, you guys are right on it. Yes, you send come it on. to me, you message it to me, you text it to me, like, you do all that stuff, and I appreciate that. I'm just going to open it up now a little bit further <laughs> in case there's any it news on reusable cups. Doesn't even have to be from Starbucks, just things that I like in general mm -hmm. tumblers, water cups, you know, coffee things, all that stuff. Just go ahead and let me know about that, too, earlier than later. I feel like this is too late. So here's what you want to do. You just text us 877-2-RADIO-U or you can email us riot at radiou.com. You can Facebook, you can tweet at us, all Whatever. the stuff. So don't be embarrassed. Be like, I wonder if Nikki's heard about this. Send it anyways. <laughs> Send it to me. Yeah. And you know what? Like, though, we want you to, Tim, you got to stop texting about the cat books, okay? Like, you got to stop. <laughs> the more, you guys can text 
It's about whatever you want. Tim Keats texting to make sure Nikki's reading the Warrior Cats books. <laughs> If you keep, do, if if you keep had, doing it, she's gonna. St- she's not gonna read it. No, I I would read more uh, if I had uh, a new cup to drink next to it. If I had a way to have a refreshing beverage next to me, I mean, I'm sure I could get some more reading done. That's all right. Instead, I just spend my days fretting about these <laughs> lame, non-color changing cups. You can text anytime eight seven seven to radio. You are always happy to read them. The worst of the riot. It's like Lucky Charms, but no marshmallows. Radio U. Now, Nikki, what is your standard operating procedure on Pop-Tart removal from the toaster? What do you mean? I mean that, you know, the Pop-Tarts are hot. Oh, sure. How do I get it? Do you, like, leave them in there for a while? Do you do that thing where you grab it and throw it? Because I just did that and made a huge mess. <laughs> don't be disappointed. But you didn't toast them, did you? I toasted a little bit, but then I had to come back because we had to talk. So I just grabbed them how they were, and I was just okay with it. You know what? I also shortened the toasting of then the Pop-Tarts so I could be been. back. Yeah. Like, where's the product on that? That seems like a... Like a perfect pop tart tie in, like get your hot pop tarts out of the toaster. And Chris used the tongs yesterday. I was gonna say at home, I'm kind of a tong guy. You know, you grab the tongs and you get them. And I just prefer to burn my fingertips. So you just, yeah. I, I what I do is I take the toaster like with toast sometimes because I like toast if it's a little extra burnt, like okay. crispy. Mm-hmm. And so I have to lower the toaster thing and like pop it up. So oh, I've done that. I do that do kind the of pop and grab. Yeah, the pop and grab. So I do that with like bread or pop tarts too. Okay, that's not bad uh, because you you know like you put your hand down there. The toaster's hot. The pop tart is hot. It's it's rough. If not, just pick the toaster up and dump it down. Ooh. <laughs> Andrew says he eats one untoasted while the other one toasts. That's an interesting take on that. What's the reason for it? Well, I mean, because he's like that way, it has a chance to toast and cool would mm-hmm. be my guess. And then you are eating one. Plus, that's a no line, no weight kind of situation. It's the best of both if you like them cold or hot. Or maybe it's a no line gain weight situation. You decide. <laughs> yeah, we did eat both of the pop tarts. Oh, well, I mean, I, I'm, oh, I haven't fine. yet, but I'm going to. It's fine. And I'm excited about it, too. Don't, don't <laughs> Thank whatever. you, Andrew, for texting. Hey, you know what, Nikki? Uh, up in a minute, I may have the solution to your Starbucks Reusable, Reusable cup the color needs. changing cups. And yeah, and thanks for nobody for texting in to tell us where we could find them. I don't feel good <laughs> I about, that. about that. I was asking I just, Eric to look and for you to call. Don't get out of it. I'm just, <laughs> just saying. The Riot is an award winning morning show. It's literally a medal for sucking. Now that is a medal for trying. Okay. Radio U. Now. Nikki has recently realized that she's got a huge hole in her life that she, if she doesn't fill it, like she'll never be happy again. Well, you didn't tell me about them soon enough. So now everybody has them already and they're all sold out. Everyone has them and Nikki has nothing. It's the reusable Starbucks cups, the color changing ones for the cold beverages. Okay. So uh, they're very difficult to find. And I immediately turn to eBay. Yeah. Let, let somebody else do the work. You'll pay a little bit of a premium for it. Everybody who bought like 15 of them during the first set, like when they came out, which is why no one can find them now mm-hmm. <laughs> because they're all on eBay. Okay. So here we go, Nikki. Currently, I could get you a, what I thought was a five pack for $24. Yeah. Does that seem reasonable? Well, they're, it's like $17 if you were to happen to find them. Yeah, it's like, is it sixteen ninety nine in the store? Uh, what is that then? Like that. $17 then, <laughs> and some change. No, Nikki. sixteen ninety nine. That's all that Starbucks get. The rest this of that goes tax. to the government. You're right. You're right. It's not them. So let's be honest here. Okay. But um, they're 24 ounce reusable cups and I was all excited for you. And then I realized that this eBay auction, this guy is selling these for $24 a piece. Each. Oh no. I saw people selling all five for like 36 bucks. Okay. Well, this guy is selling them for 24 a piece. He sold 15 of them already. Mm-hmm. He's breaking them up. You can't break the family up. Oh yeah, you can. No, you can't. And he will. No. And he has. It's fine. I don't care. I don't care anymore. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. I'm not Boy, buying it from some eBay. Fast turnaround all well, of a sudden. I don't want to buy it from eBay. Why not? You're not buying it from eBay. You're buying it from Sadati. <laughs> Just bought them all up. You know. No. Let he me... has 100 positive feedback, and it's free delivery. Let me get through the show and then let me let me just see what I can get Eric to do. 
<laughs> to be honest. Let's just see. And Nick, then I'll move on. Nikki's surprisingly transparent about Eric's role in this entire thing. <laughs> He's the one. He does better at that than I do. I'm shy. I'm very shy. I don't want to go and ask. You know, this reminds me. I have a friend that every time I they want me to do something, and yeah. I, just because they don't want to, they're like, yeah, but you're good at it. Yeah, build you up, get you to do it. It's like, shut up. I know the truth. Oh, thanks for whoever texted and said uh, a certain store doesn't have any. So that's one off the list. Thank you. That's one, but there's still three more in the area. I know. I just keep trying. I'm going north. I just got to get out of the city. <laughs> That's where you have to go. I got to go where Starbucks are so far out of the city that I've they don't know what these things are. To get out of the city. <laughs> That's what I have to do. <laughs> That's, you know my, That's my job today. <laughs> the, probably the best thing you've ever said. Oh, is it? <laughs> probably. I've got to get out of the city. I can't be here anymore. Oh it's going to, this Starbucks in this area, this worthless for me to even try. You got to go outside of the area. Wow. Well, okay. You know what, Nikki? Uh, well, I want you to hear the instructions that you're going to give Eric. <laughs> to All right, go. Eric, here are GPS coordinates for five Starbucks <laughs> that are at least 50 miles from any major metropolitan area. Yeah. So Billy just texted, so what do these cups look like? They're like uh, the reusable Starbucks cups. They're just tumblers, so they're tall, uh, but they color change, and then they have the lid with the straw that comes with it, and you get a five-pack of them. So it's not like the expensive tumblers with it. It's just the color-changing cups. Billy says he travels around a bit, so he might be able to stumble. Upon them. Oh, let me know, Billy, if anybody sees them. Well, Billy, if you got to get out of this city. I mean, I can't be the only one wanting these. If we all work together as like a network, you're not, we can find them. The problem is you're not the only one that wants them. I know, and but yeah. I could probably find you cups just like this at Walmart, Costco, whatever, but they won't have that Starbucks logo. And you know you're not having the best summer, living the best life, <laughs> if that mermaid thing isn't on there. I don't have that, but then I can find on Pinterest like a stencil, and then we could just put them on there and no one will know. No, everybody's going to know. They when you when you go ahead and put it on the gram, <laughs> no, I'm just lying because it's the whole reason you want All it right, anyway. Well, it's fine. It's no matter what, it's fine. Twenty four dollars, Nikki. I can get you a cup. I'm not buying it from eBay. I'm not going to do that. It's Sadati. Me it's bro- not eBay. Me and eBay, eBay is just a, a go between. Time ago. It's just a go between. No, thank you. Ever grab milk right out of the fridge to pour in your cereal, only to realize that your stupid roommate left an empty carton in the fridge? That emptiness is nothing compared to how you're about to feel. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. And Pop Tarts are over too fast. Just. You know, like they were good, and then all of a sudden it's like, poof. And then you just realize what you've done. They're just gone. (laughs) Well, yesterday we did a new Riot Food Fight, uh, the S'mores Oreos and the Pop-Tart Splits, which you can watch if you want to. Take a look at what it's like in the Radio U studio for us. If you normally just listen only, that's a Radio U Riot on Facebook, or you can watch at Radio U Riot and subscribe and follow on our YouTube channel. So, Nikki, what? are your mother's day plans as of right now what do you, do you I have, have not do you have decided for your mom? no not yet i still have to work on that before sunday it yeah. is a sunday right yeah yes yeah it is so we shall not forget about this shall we no i mean you i i'm bringing it up now just so we all are aware so that everybody is at least beginning to start the process yeah yes thinking about it if you haven't yet because i mean time is short uh, you got four days if you count today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then actual Sunday. Maybe my mom would like a set of reusable cups. No, just teasing. <laughs> One's a color change. I mean, I can think of one that uh, she would I could, really like. I could think of that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be wonderful? She would uh, like one, and I could have the other four. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, but that's funny. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I'd give her all five, and if she chose not to use all of them, I would take whatever she didn't want. I'll just get her a gift card. How about that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I haven't decided yet what to get my mom, but... Mom, I worked so hard on your Mother's Day gift this year. (laughs) I'm really thirsty. I got out of the city, and I found these. So come on. No, if not, I mean... Uh, usually your mom is your mom's your mom and she likes what she likes and there's right. usually that set that you go towards for mother's day i think i'm probably just getting i always get her like a plant she always yeah. wants a it's spring you know plant for the porch kind of thing that, that usually that usually works sounds good kind of a thing i mean uh i thought about getting her some pictures of me 
Because, I mean... <laughs> that moment might have passed. That might be so? back to, like, baby Obi. You know, actually, that brings up a really great point. I had a friend of mine. She's a mom. She posted a picture of her son who was, like, I don't know. What is he, like, four or five years old, whatever. She's like, he slept until 830 in bed he's so cute so here's a picture of her son sleeping in until 8 30 in the morning and she's like it's so wonderful to be a mom whatever you know what if i was still in bed at 8 <laughs> 30 with your mom nobody would be like oh it's so cute how he just sleeps as long as he wants and he just lays there it's so wonderful no one is celebrating when you sleep in is that no, what you're saying no. where's the Where's the line? Like, what? at what point does it suddenly become, it's no longer cute that I'm still in bed at 8.30? <laughs> Where's that line at? 8.30 is nothing, too. We can go way past that. Yeah. You know, I'm going to have one of my roommates take a picture here. Here's a pic- get a picture of me asleep in bed. We'll give it to my mom. Look, mom. Oh! Look how nice he decided to sleep in for you on Mother's Day. Look how cute it is. Oh! Actually, that would be a hilarious post if you posted a picture like that. That would be great. Uh, dude, I'll, I'll tell you what. Like my All right. Well, another mom thing. One of my friends, uh, he's uh, Highway Patrol in Oregon. Yeah. It's like friend, family, et cetera, et cetera. And so uh, his mom took his picture and put it on the mantle, and it looks it looks like he's dead because like it's got like flowers and candles oh, around it. That's awful. And so she was just trying to make it look nice. Yeah, but it looks like you, a memorial sort of thing. You walk in and you're like, oh, Billy's dead. <laughs> Oh, that's too bad. So we were giving him a really hard time about it. And he's like, yeah, I hate that she put my picture there, all this stuff. So we took our picture with his picture. Yeah. And we gave it to him and the mom. Gotcha. Here here you go. Here's something else now. Here's another picture of us. So maybe the right picture of yourself. It would be perfect for mom. Good work. So just don't forget on Sunday, it is Mother's Day. Mom, you wouldn't be a mom without me. So where's my present? Just, yeah, way to take the day that's supposed to be about her and we'll make it about ourselves. Uh, again, See, not the negative about like, that. If you want me to define you as a mother, the only way I can do that is through my existence, and therefore, <laughs> where is my gift? Which is why you're getting the picture of me for this Mother's Day. Remember, if you can just make it through the rest of the riot, then you can probably make it through the rest of the week and through the next several months, and then it'll practically be Christmas. The riot on Radio U. If you've never been to jail and you're going to go. There are, and there's Does an entire one plan to go to jail. Well, I mean, there's an entire industry. Well, you know, you go to sentencing, Nikki. You don't always, well, like you, you've been found guilty, but you haven't been sentenced yet. Sure. So there's this gap, and sometimes you even have a gap before you have to report to jail. And there's lots of different types of jails that you can find yourself in. Also true. Some are harder than others. And there's, I mean, there's just a whole industry out there, whether it's books or YouTube videos or even uh, personal coaches. They'll help prepare you physically and mentally. For what to expect when it's time to go to jail. Now, Frederick Johnson did, as far as I could tell, did not avail himself of those services. However, he did zero in on something that he thought was going to help him once he got into jail. Now, Frederick's a larger man, Nikki. Mm-hmm. He weighs 320 pounds. I don't know how tall he is. I think he was 6'2". How do you know that? Because I read the article. <laughs> yep, there. All right. Hey! Good. You got it. Ding, 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 ding. And so uh, what he ended up doing was uh, he brought himself a machete to prison with him, and he was trying to get it into prison. I think he wrapped it up in like a pair of shorts, and then what he did with it, I know people are like, where did he put it? <laughs> he uh, lifted up on his tummy. He has some... Um, his word, or the it, article's words, a not fat ours, roll. A fat roll. And so he lifted it up and put the machete wrapped in the shorts in a roll to try to hide it. And he put it in his fat roll. So I don't understand. He actually made it through the metal detector undetected. So I don't know how that worked. But when they were doing a another step in jail, which is a, a pat down uh-huh. sort of body search, that's when they noticed part of the sword <laughs> like protruding out, they could tell. Like something's not right here. Yes. And they were able to see, okay, he even though he got through the first thing, they were they were able to find out and they took it from him. So he ended up getting in trouble. He's further in trouble in regards to this. So, man, that's a... Like, I would have been trying to sneak, like, food or, like, a phone yeah, or, like... Yeah, money or something. Like, I don't know what you do in jail, but... 
Well, Nikki, that's why be you, best. you need to read those books and go to those ser- seminars. I'd have to, to get, get ready. prepared. I'm, I'm really not ready for it. Yeah. It re- this reminded me of the tale of the Moabite king Eglon. Do you remember him? No. No. Ehud killed him and he stabbed him with a sword. And Eglon was supposedly so fat oh, he that it. his fat <laughs> swallowed the sword. Oh, gosh. It's like he stabbed him and it was just like. Oh. It went right into it. <laughs> that's some job of the hut stuff right there. It's quite it's a like, story. So, at first he thought he made it by getting through the metal detectors, but then, nope, they found him out. Yep, he did. So, I, I guess what Nikki and I are trying to tell you is that this is a good example of a D, DIY, you know, prison prep. And what you might want to do is just turn towards an expert or something like that and see if you can maybe... Like, is someone supposed to be bringing it into you? Is it better if they try to to sneak it in or what? Right. Like, was it too much, too big of a sword? Or, you know, like, do you want to... I mean, are cigarettes still currency in prison? Should he have been trying to just, like, sneak a in a carton? toilet wine, remember? You know, like, like, that sort of stuff? Oh, I remember. <laughs> I thought you would. I remember. Would you like some Merlot? I make it in the toilet. (laughs) Dear Radio U, when I was a kid, my parents sent our dog to live on a farm in the country where he could run and play all day. I could ask them for the address if you need somewhere to send the riot. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. (laughs) Nikki Nikki believes we found uh, rock bottom. You can't tell this story, though, can you? You don't think we can? No, everybody can. You don't think we can? Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's one know. of the worst. It might be too much for everybody. So you just want to you just want to forget about it? Unless you're so vague, but then that takes away some of the the power. The teachability from the it's a teachable moment. I think it's a teachable moment. A I teachable do. Moment. And you know, you're like, uh, uh-uh, I'm never going to. Well, you start off at That's one spot, it, and then you end up like this man down the road. And I want to know, no one starts off that way. Nikki's speaking the truth right there. Nobody starts a drug habit thinking it's going to be a drug habit. You just are out having fun with your friends, and then before you know it, it becomes a real problem. <laughs> this is where you could end be up. Be very. Very general. <laughs> okay. So, Kadeem in Nashville. He got picked up. He gets picked up. Well, it's also who you're around. He, he was around someone who's very well known for having an outstanding warrant. And so they went to go pick her up. He was in the vehicle driving. He had also been in so many tr- so much trouble beforehand that they, they knew to pick him up also. Yeah. So, <laughs> the... Um, when they pull them over, just close your guys. Just shut your brain off, okay, everybody. <laughs> okay. So what happens is he's got these uh, baggies of heroin. All right. So the police pull him over, and the police see him take those baggies <sighs> there it there it is. and shove them mm. somewhere. Okay. Everybody knows what we mean by that. All right. We're all grown ups here. We're all grown ups. All right. All right. And then uh, when he got out of the car. And I think he was on his way to, like, medical transport. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of the baggies that were in a special I'm gonna place go over here. <laughs> fell out. And so la, 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 la. he grabbed those baggies ah, yeah, yeah. and swallowed oh, them. Oh, there it is. There's one. He was yeah. like, don't worry, I got it. Oh. And so then he had to be held for it to go through his system again. Which is the second time it was passing through there. So he had to, they had to wait for it to uh, process. His body's like, didn't we already kick you out once? I. You're here again? Yes. Just the shame, you know, like, I hope he's like, well, that that's the worst it can get. And then sometimes when you hit worse, then you move forward and you get help that you need. But I don't know. I hate this story so much. I hate it. I hate it a lot. This is, and what is it for, Nikki? Teachable telling, moment. It's, it's a, a teachable te- moment. Teachable you shouldn't moment. want to do anything. This makes me not even want to drink soda. Because what if soda leads to something else and then to something else? Tell me, soda is my gateway. Of heroin. I just want to make sure we're all doing the best we can to not fall into anything. That's fair. All right. That's fair. We do okay with that. I mean, it's very gross, but just, you know, again, teachable moment. I wish you guys, I wish I had a camera on Nikki because I sent her the story and just let her read it. 
That was my favorite part of the whole morning. Watch, listen, listening to her read it. You should not be able to send me those stories anymore. <laughs> you know, let's not act like I'm the only person that sends gross things because you're always like, dude, watch them pop this pimple. It's That's, not even pimple. That is way different compared to what we just read. This way is existential different. horror. This is this is something. This is the stuff that bothers you in the night. Apparently, <laughs> I'll think about this one. I, you're listening to the riot. Voted number one morning show. Among toddlers aged two to five. Among people with hearing problems. Among dogs who bark at loud noises. Among relatives of Obadiah. Among people who lie in surveys. The Riot Radio U. So more and more of the dominoes are falling on this college admission scandal. So we've got uh, Steven Sempravivo. I don't know who he is. But he pleaded guilty yesterday in a Boston federal court saying that he paid Georgetown coach George Ernst six, no, I'm sorry, $400,000 to accept his son as a tennis recruit. Jeez, that's so much money. Yes. Now, Ernst pleaded not guilty to yeah. accepting these bribes, uh, but they've got all kinds of people that are pleading guilty to giving them. Yeah. He's got problems. I feel like it also varies. It's been interesting to see the amount of money from like college to college or person to person. Doesn't seem like there was just a blanket amount that oh, they it's always. Re- yeah, it seems like it was legitimately negotiable. Because I'm like, negotiable. why did this person pay so much more money than like say this person? Which makes me wonder: was like this person was more like easier to get into that college, and then this person was a little harder. Or was it one of those things where at first it didn't cost that much, but over time you <laughs> were like, builds and builds. I couldn't do this for less than 400000 Uh, You know, daddy's got to get his, uh, well, it his does, boat. It does show that it was negotiable. <laughs> it's crazy. The other thing that I just continue to think about is how bad it sucks that your parents did that. I mean, I'm sure in some cases the students knew, but I'll bet you in a lot of them they had no idea. You don't think? I, I'll bet. I'll bet there are some. Now, I'm not saying that it's true of all, mm. but think about this. You think you made the tennis team. Well, and what if you weren't? But the problem they had is that they I said know, a lot not, of the people, like, never even played tennis. They never play. I know. So I get you it. know that you're not making that's, it onto the tennis team. That's different. The sports but I just, ones. I just imagine this guy who's just like, he's terrible at tennis and he doesn't know it. His whole life, <laughs> his been dad lied to. Has, been, has been using money like other people are taking the fall and he's fixing tennis matches, just all this stuff. And then finally one day he just goes home and he opens up his phone and he's like, Hey, what's this? It's (gasps) me. My my dad paid for this. (laughs) What? You mean dad? You mean I'm not good at tennis? It, it's an eye opener, I guess, then for some. How can this be true? And it's not like just getting you into college was a lie. For a lot of people, your tests leading up to college were also a lie. So much of, of what you've done is just a lie. Academic career, there's a lot of lies in it. And a lot of love. Well, as some people <laughs> some that's, people love is lies and lies is love. That's from arrested development. Is I couldn't it? resist. <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. And another one bites the dust. And I don't have it up in front of me, but I saw that, like, there's already a a mini series on the way that's going to be on some cable oh, yes, channel I saw that. about the college bribery scandal. You know that's coming, which is a shame because everybody who would have been in that sort of movie is the ones that got arrested, too. Like, it seems like oh. those are the actresses that would have been in Man, that. Hallmark burn. Yeah. But it is. That's the it's style. True. It's true. Lori Laughlin playing herself. <laughs> she will eventually. <laughs> Man. I Okay. Quick question, though. Mm-hmm. Would you, like, if your parents could have bribed your way through college and whatever, and you could have just gone and had, because college is a ton of fun, especially if you could remove all the work, uh, would you have just gone for it? Uh, no, I was never one to want to go to college, so. I know, but Nikki, you wouldn't have been going to college. You would have been going to four-year party I'm, time. That's true. That might have been different. I don't know. Man. <laughs> I could be going to fun time. I'd like to tell you guys that I wouldn't have done it, but man, just the idea of like, I, you know, sometimes my mom will buy me lunch and I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> so imagine all four so years I mean, of that. <laughs> What if it was, like, way more than that? You could have had a great time. The Worst of the Riot box set is now available nowhere because we know you wouldn't want it anyway. It's the Worst of the Riot on Radio U. All right, Nikki. 
you know, I I mean, I think you know that Avengers Endgame came out uh, like a week and a half ago. Yes, I am aware. You've heard of that. <laughs> yes, everybody's aware. Yeah, I, I mean, I believe we've talked about it on the show every single day. <laughs> since then? Since it came out. Been, well, actually, it might have been every day. But yes, we're aware. We're very aware. Uh, a lot of people are left wondering, you know... If Endgame's the end game, they're probably not making any more Marvel movies, right? No one thinks that, though, right? I don't think so. I mean, unless you're really out of, like, I'm not even in the Marvel verse. Like, I don't watch all the movies, but I understand that train's not ending anytime soon. Anytime soon. Like, you just know that. And then the Spider Man trailer came out. So apparently, yesterday, Disney unveiled kind of its release schedule over the next few years. They have eight. Marvel movies coming out between now and the end of 2022. That's a lot of movies. Eight movies, three years. Isn't that a lot? Does that feel a lot? It feels like a lot. It feels like a but, lot. I mean, that's kind of on track. What have they been doing? Like two, sometimes three Marvel movies a year? Yeah, I guess. Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, you're Doesn't right. It? The other thing that they announced is, uh, you know, they came out and they're like, you know what, guys? We're not going to be making any more Star Wars movies for a while, all right? I thought they were supposed to take a break. We're going to take a little Star Wars break, because, man, you know, like, be a little too much, huh? A little more than you're really looking for. So what are they saying? Uh, They're saying uh, your next Star Wars movie will be, wait, 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 where's the date? 20, well, 2021. So, it's taking, that, that's a, so they're taking two years off. That's good. I think it needs it. I think it needs a breather. And then they say that they're going to do two years in between Star Wars movies at that point. At that point. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other thing they announced here is uh, the next Indiana Jones movie will be out in July of 2021. Are we doing that again? We are? Okay. Yeah. And uh, Harrison Ford will be 79 years old when we get the next Indiana Jones movie. Are they filming it movie. now? <laughs> Just in case. I don't know. Just maybe. Uh, also, we're getting Cruella, which is... Oh, about, Dalmatians? Uh-huh. That uh, December 2020. Uh, something called Nimona. I don't know what that is, but that's another Disney thing. Oh, and okay, here's the deal. Nimona the, is uh, Moana, but just a different one. So it it <laughs> could, could be. be. Could Who be. Knows? Um, but the other thing that I, I didn't include here, so like they're doing these Star Wars movies, right? So what they've done is they've bumped the Avatar movies. So like the Avatar, basically Are from them. Are we going to be alive when the other two av- Avatar movies come out? They they pushed the release date back another year because remember, Disney now owns Fox. Oh, and so Fox is Avatar. Now Fox has got to line up with the Disney schedule too. So they say that basically Avatar and Star Wars will be like every other year. Uh, And then what was the other thing they announced? Oh, this is the one nobody talks about it. I mean, some people do, but I'm really curious. It's like two years ago, there was a teaser trailer for the new mutants, which was a, uh, an X-Men movie, whatever, but they, they made it look like a horror movie and all this stuff. And like, you haven't heard anything about it. That's got bumped back another year. So that's releasing, was it 2020 or 2021? Uh, but like that, that's gotten pushed again. It's too long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like guys. Oh, and you know what? I I'm sorry. The that next Star Wars movie three years. So three 2022 years. is when you'll see that. I feel They're like they need that. to share like a Google Calendar or something with us. And have then... you ever seen? Have you ever seen those graphics ne- that people put together? There are these huge like timelines of Apparently movies. Apparently not. But I mean, this is a long time. I. Like, I've been along for the ride for a lot of this stuff, and I know I'm not supposed to feel this way, but I am starting to get to the point where I'm like, all right, guys. That causes a little fatigue, don't you think? (laughs) All right, like, you know what? I've had a good time. It's been a lot of fun, but this is basically you just telling me when my next payment is due. That's what it feels like. It's like a coupon book for my student loans. They're like, all right, uh, you can see over the next five years, you'll be paying this much money every single month on this date. Might as well just get one of those from Disney already. I know they used to not tell you years in advance, and I kind of miss that. I kind of miss the actual surprise of when something would come out. No, Nikki. You need to start planning your life. I gotta save money for it. Well, this way you won't do stupid things like plan a wedding on the day a movie's (laughs) gonna release. I mean, you wouldn't want to be responsible for that. I don't want to miss it. This was the worst of the riots, and we'd like to congratulate you on having the stomach to stick around to the very end. The riot exists because Radio U exists, and Radio U only exists because of your support. Find out more and give now at RadioU.com slash donate. You want to look like you have a big butt, but not so big they want to get a second look at it. 